For many years, the G Train has been known as the line with the crap. <laughs> that too. But at the same time, you know, the G's been alright. But a lot of people are saying that, you know, there's a whole bunch of crap to it. So let me clear the air with everything. So, now, this is the review. Line. Yeah, and this fucker was saying that the G is always from crap. Well, it's not all crap. Looking at you, Knuckles, don't do shit. It's not doing anything. Yeah, all right. So, this is a review about what I like to call the ghost train. So, that's what I'm This here is the G Train, New York's number one crosstown line, in fact the only crosstown line. The G starts up at Church Avenue with the F moving up the line passing Smith and 9th Street, the highest station in all of New York City transit, on the crosstown viaduct, you asshats, to Bergen Street. Once there, the F splits from the G and goes to J Street while the G goes to Hoyt and Skimmerhorn meeting up with the A and C trains. Two job! After that, the G stays on its own on IND Crosstown from Brooklyn to Queens, with this last stop being Court Square, transferring to the 7 A and M train. Now before I get into it, I just want to say the part from Bergen Street all the way to Church Avenue is all Crosstown. From Ditmas to Coney Island is all Culver, which means this is not the Culver Viaduct, it's the fucking Crosstown Viaduct. Now the equipment for the G is all fat asses, R68 and 68A. The G itself is small. It's only a four car train which I find retarded. But anyway, the G was never like this. In fact, the G was six cars when I was growing up, using R46s and R32s. And it was six car R46s and eight car R32s. That was the shit. This was all back in the 90s though. Now the G line itself was always the outcast of the subway due to the fact that it doesn't go into Manhattan. So what the MTA does is shit on the G, and they shit hard. The fact that they reduced it to four cars, the fact that it doesn't go beyond Court Square, the fact that they cut down service, my god! I'm not the only one seeing this shit happen. Zaire and Sonic are as well, especially me and Sonic. Of course you guys know my station is Smith & Street. Well, Sonic also lives on the line at Bedford No Strength, so if anything, it's just a one seat ride for us to get to each other. Now the G was originally a black people line, but gentrification happened, and all of a sudden we got hipsters. <laughs> Notice how back then when it was just straight black people, we complained about service and got shitted on. Apparently we was told if we wanted to get our service boosted, we would have to make the G shorter in length to make extra trains. Which sounds smart and stupid at the same time, when you think about it. But when the plan came about, that shit wasn't smart. They took the cars, broke them up, and didn't give us any service in return. But when the hipsters get here, the G is looked at as a worldly crisis. It even gets more trains put on the line even though the G still has 4 cars. At times, it does kick ass. And a few times, it does come faster than F. This makes me feel some type of way. Make you feel some type of way. Now because of Hurricane Sandy, the G was only going from Nassau Avenue to Church Avenue, with shuttle buses going from Nassau Avenue to Court Square, thus making the G a Brooklyn train only. The reason why that is is because Sandy flooded the Greenpoint tube for the G. From what I know, the track workers were down there busting ass getting the job done. 
So calm down hipsters, work had to be done. And all you candy asses better thank those track workers for getting the job done. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones who make sure you get to your destination alive. Which is why I highly respect the track workers, even though sometimes they fuck up our favorite parts, still they keep the system afloat. Honestly, the G is a kick-ass line. For those of you who say the G sucks, sit your ass down. You forget what the G goes through. It's so bad that Stripe Hank... And that's another thing. How you say your ratings are official, yet you don't rate the G? Get the fuck out of here. Listen up and listen good. If you want to really be official, you rate every train in the subway system. Shuttles included. And what's wrong with the G? It's a long enough line. It's an official line at that. Plus it's a line that has color. It has its own stations. Multiple stations, not just one. And it's a non-shuttle line. But you know what it is? It's the fact that it doesn't go into Manhattan. Listen, for once, fuck, fuck Manhattan. Manhattan. You don't realize that the G has a shit ton of passengers who depend on it, and I'm one of them. You want to make the G the ultimate crosstown line? Send that bitch to Rockaway Park. How? Send the G on the Queens Boulevard line, and after Woodhaven Boulevard, use the old Woodhaven line to send the G down meeting up with the A to Rockaway Park. Instead of building that stupid ass High Line thing, again, like you did before in Manhattan, this time this thing would actually work. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Now of course, I'm not the only one on this. As always, the people need to speak. I think that it's a nice line, the um, ridership has grown over the years. There's been some improvements ever since they stopped the overhaul over here. But I think the one complaint that I have is that just increasing the at least six cars, like just add two more, like bring the 46 back, just run six cars like they used to back in the 90s, 90s, late 80s. Um, I think after a couple of years, they get extended back to Forest Hill or 71st Avenue in Port Square because the ridership has gone through the roof after 2009, which is the reason why they extended it to permanently to Church Avenue, or out in Brooklyn. So, they get extended back to six cars. They have the capability, they have the ridership now. And there's already gonna be a fair hike next year, so they have the money to do it. So, there shouldn't be any problem to do it. So, I mean, the G, has a lot of gentrification on it now, so there's a lot of mixes. We got black, white, Latino, we got Asians, all on the same line. So if you get the right people to go to these meetings, and stuff, then you should be able to do something. You should be able to do something and get something out of it. Pretty much it. So length of the G. Yeah, like, you know, back of the four cars. I just said extended to six. I mean, four cars is okay, but you can see during rush hours, it's very packed. You can barely fit. You have to wait for another train, which is like 10 minutes apart. And that's in rush hour. And when it's not rush hour, they run frequently. So that's ass backwards if you ask me. It's retarded. It's stupid and dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's um shit because first of all, it's so late night service is terrible, especially from Laguardia College students who depend on it to get to the L to go home. And shit doesn't pop up when you want to. You get home late. Um, too many white people. <laughs> I'm racist. Um, 21st Street looks like shit. Um, yeah, so, the G's alright, um, like James said, it is the step, the stepchild of MTA, because like, every other train that's not important gets service first, before they actually come and give attention to the fucking G. Um, too many damn hipsters. <laughs> I'm so fucking serious. Like, I remember when you, the G used to roll through Best Eye, and this whole train used to be blacked out. Now, now it's just like... Fixed the green point too. 21st still looks like shit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, the G. Well, it's a pretty okay line. So it's gonna be better, but at least it's 
actually a pretty good line. It has to do with psych. Like, don't, don't get rid of it, just make it better. That's pretty much it. Okay. okay, basically, bring it back to Florida Sailors, make, make the, the, the G six cars, and there you go. That's pretty much it. I have no problem with the service whatsoever. If that was the case, I would not be wearing this shirt right now. Neither would he. Exactly. And that's it. All right. How you doing, around Five here? I have no problem with the G. Like A said, bring it back to Forest Hills, make it six cars, no problem with the service. Because put it like this, if it wasn't for the G, all the other trades would be packed because it delivers good service between Court Square and Church Avenue. That's a lot to say. And see, pretty much what all of them said is true. The G is there, it's reliable. Don't kill it, give it at least like six to eight cars. Make the service a little bit longer. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Amen. Amen to that. Super Brothers again, and we're here at 2nd Avenue. Just got off the holiday train shit, and apparently. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, you goddamn fairy! Just wait, shit! So, yeah, we're here to talk about the G room, the G train, the G. Short, so stepchild, what more do you want? days, you know, go French bitches. But yeah, that's pretty much my input on this. Let everybody else talk this time, I'm done. Now for a little history. The G back in the day was a shuttle serving between Queens Plaza and Nassau Avenue in Brooklyn. This began on August 19, 1933. Also, it was known as the GG. This was when the line was incomplete. Soon after, the entire IND Crosstown line was completed on July 1st, 1937 thus giving it the connection to the Culver Line in Brooklyn, sending it to Church Avenue. Forward into the future, the G was cut back from Church Avenue to Smith and I Street for some odd reason. Then on July 5th, 2009, the G was sent back to Church Avenue due to Smith and I Street being repaired. But after it was finished, they kept it to Church Avenue due to the passengers wanting extra service. In this case, it does make sense. This way the F doesn't have to wait on the hill of Smith and I Street for the G to move once it gets to the last stop. Also, the G used to go to 179 on the overnights on the local track to replace the F which terminated at 21st Street Queensbridge. 21. This started on September 30th, 1990. Then in May 1997, thanks to the construction of the 63rd Street Cut and Queens Boulevard line, the G's last stop was Court Square on evenings, nights, and weekends. And on December 16th, 2001, the 63rd Street Cut was open. Court Square became the terminal for the G during midday and rush hours, in which that stem of service was given to the V. From then on, when 8.30 p.m. hit, the G was sent to 71st Avenue, which was perfect, but thanks to that famous budget cut of June 27, 2010, the V and W died and the G was permanently back at Court Square. Not only that, but headways were reduced. Let me just say that the G is taking some heavy hits. Unnecessary hits even. To be standing after all of that, G Train, you are the MVP. Talk shit about the G all you want. That little motherfucker is still here, and for those of you who live on the G, be glad you have a train because the MTA had talks about getting rid of it before. Now of course, I'm gonna say put some R32s on the G. Whoever wasn't expecting that, Get the fuck out. I'm gonna say this, if you put the R32s on a G, or even a Coney Allen line, you would be better off because one, hipsters love old shit on the G, two, it's a line that barely gets in the way, and three, on weekends, cause the G is opto, you can put a few R32s on a different line, most likely the N because fuck the Q. Then again for 50th birthday sake, throw a few on the Q. Not just one because that's how you fucked up on the R by sending that one R32 on the line when you're doing that vibration test. Don't think I don't know about that. But instead, send multiple. Think about it. The formulas will be spread it out on different trains and less likely to fuck up service. Use the plan that you did for the C, J, and Z, and trust me, it'll work. The formulas will get bored before you know it because all they care about is shots and footage. I'll tell you what though, if this ever happens, if I see anyone on an R32N train messing with the train or the roll signs, I'm gonna come after you. Mark my words. Now back to the G. As far as the G concerned, the way it was when it was going to 71st Continental was beautiful. From Church Avenue to 71st Avenue is perfect. Do what you did before when the V was around, but this time do it with the M. Equipment wise, put it to at least 6 or 8 cars. I like the R68s and 68As on a G, but the R32s and 46s were much better. And to be honest, a bit more fun to ride, but that's just me. And as always, for the passengers, I do have to say this, we need better service on the G. I'm sorry, I just had to say it because that's what they want. 
so screw it. I'll give the G a 7 out of 10. It's all we got, and be happy you guys got it. I mean, yeah, they need to do more with the G, and I'm not going against you guys. No, I'm just saying with that lingering car shortage that we have, we have to use what we got, people. Shouldn't have scrapped all your 40s mods and R32 Space 2s. Nope. So with that said, this is Knuckles of the Super Subway Brothers telling you to stand clear of the closing door. <laughs>